Its developers say the ocean measuring satellite Sentinel-6 will provide irrefutable evidence of how the seas are rising due to human-caused global warming. The satellite, which resembles a large, gadget-festooned orbiting doghouse, can quantify ocean rise to within a centimeter. The main concept is that it has a radar altimeter on board and it, it fires a pulse at the ocean surface and you measure how long it takes for that pulse to go out and come back. And from that, you can infer uh, the height of the satellite above the ocean surface. And so when you take the height of the satellite and you subtract off that radar measurement of the height of the satellite above the ocean surface, then you have a, a, a measurement of the height of the oceans. About one third of ocean rise is due to thermal expansion. Water that absorbs heat expands like mercury in an old fashioned thermometer. The rest is due to the melting of glaciers and ice caps in Greenland, the Antarctic and elsewhere. So uh, these two elements together make uh, uh, the, the product of Sentinel-6 very relevant for, for the society. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has projected that oceans could rise more than 60 centimeters by 2100, endangering millions, if not billions, of people who live near the sea or in storm-prone areas. Scientists working on the Sentinel-6 program say it will provide unambiguous data to grab the public and policymakers' attention. What's going up, we can show people the data and I'd like to think that, that most people out there can still be uh, informed by looking at, you know, real data. So uh, it's not some climate model that's predicting what's going to happen. It's actually measurements of what's really changing. What's changing and why? Climate is changing because we're putting CO2 and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. And we need to start moving on to renewable energy sources and stop burning fossil fuels. Sentinel-6's mission will last five years, a messenger in outer space, bearing a message to humanity that it must change its ways. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera.